So we live in a time where people like to cry about white supremacy and Nazi symbolism and all these other things that, you know, that harken back to a time of old, to evil of old, when we have evil of right now, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, you're so worried about that when right here, right now we have so many different evil figures that are insanely prominent. This is coming to us from CNBC. Billionaire Jeffrey Epstein arrested in New York on sex trafficking charges. This is published by the Ape Body Associated Press. So here are the key points and part of the reasons why I'm going to get into exactly why I consider I'm not going to call the man evil, but I'm definitely going to call the act of sex trafficking evil because how could you do that to somebody else? Billionaire financier and registered sex offender Jeffrey Epstein was arrested Saturday in New York on new sex trafficking charges involving allegations that date to the early 2000s, according to law enforcement officials. An official said Epstein is accused of paying underage girls for massages and molesting them at his homes in Florida and New York. Gross. The arrest comes amid a renewed scrutiny of the once secret plea deal that ended a federal investigation against him. Wow. That's a gentleman right there, very smug, and he's a billionaire. And that's one of the things that really, I think, gets lost in the sauce a lot. People from these circles, they are in these circles. Their concerns, their world is not that of the normal human being, you know, the rest of us. He's in the 1%. Wealthy financier and registered sex offender Jeffrey Epstein was arrested Saturday in New York on new sex trafficking charges involving allegations. Okay, yeah, we already read that. Epstein, a wealthy hedge fund manager who once counted as friends, former President Bill Clinton, Great Britain's Prince Andrew, and President Donald Trump, was taken into federal custody and is expected to appear Monday in Manhattan Federal Court, three law enforcement officials told the Associated Press. Now, when it comes to uh, former President Clinton, President Trump, and Prince Andrew, like I said, that they're in, they have their own class, all right? <laughs> their world is not your world. So thusly, they're all doing their own thing with, in, with endless amounts of money. One of the officials said Epstein is accused of paying underage girls for massages. Okay, yeah, we already read that. Um, the official spoke on the condition of amenity because they were not authorized to discuss the pending case. A message was sent to Epstein's defense attorney seeking comment. Epstein is being held at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Manhattan, according to the Federal Bureau of Prisons website. His arrest, Epstein's arrest, first reported by the Daily Beast, comes amid renewed scrutiny of a once secret plea deal that ended a federal investigation against him. That deal, which is being challenged in Florida, Florida federal court, allowed Epstein, who is now 66, to plead guilty to lesser state charges of soliciting and procuring a person under age of 18 for prostitution. Where's that kid's parents? Averting to the possible to the possible to a possible life sentence, Epstein was instead sentenced to 13 months in jail. The deal also required he reach financial settlements with dozens of his once teenage victims and, and register as a sex offender. Money is a powerful thing in this world, and money helps, you know, allow evil people to do evil things. Epstein's deal was overseen by former Miami U.S. attorney Alexander Acosta, who is now Trump's labor secretary. Acosta has defended the plea deal that as appropriate under the circumstances, though the White House said in February that it was looking into his handling of the deal. So it seems as if even the, the prosecute, the guy, the, the uh, attorney that got him his deal is now in Trump's administration. And they're like, oh, no, no, no. We're going to look at him, too. <laughs> this is nonsense. Because, uh, you know, that's uh, that's ridiculous. But at the same time, I mean, he paid him. That's what that that's what the money was for. They took the money. So, mm hmm. U.S. District Judge Kenneth Mara of Florida ruled earlier this year that Epstein's victims should have been consult consulted under federal law about the deal. And he is now weighing. But they weren't. I mean, if they if he paid them out, then they they weren't consulted. That's interesting. And he is now weighing whether to invalidate the non-prosecution agreement or NPA that protected Epstein from federal charges. It is not immediately clear whether the cases involved the same victims since nearly all have remained anonymous. Federal prosecutors recently filed court papers in Florida case in, in Florida case contending Epstein's deal must stand. 
The past cannot be undone. The government committed itself to the NPA, and the parties have not disputed that Epstein complied with its provisions, prosecutors wrote in the filing. They acknowledged, however, that the failure to consult the victims fell short of the government's dedication to serve victims to the best of its ability, and that prosecutors should have communicated with the victims in a straightforward and transparent way. But the victims got the money, though, right? The victims in the Florida case have until Monday to respond to the Justice Department's filings. So, hmm, that's interesting. So they're trying. So they're trying to nullify the plea deal that he signed under the under the uh, what's the name under the idea that the the victims of that case weren't properly notified of the deal and what it would entail. My question is, I mean, but. I guess did they did you cash a check though? Because <laughs> I'm still because it said that he came up with came up with settlements and you know they all got paid. So I'm, I'm I'm curious. I'm very curious about that. According to court records in Florida, authorities say at least 40 underage girls, Jesus, were brought into Epstein's Palm Beach mansion for what turned into sexual encounters after female fixers looked for suitable girls locally and in Eastern Europe and other parts of the world. So what's up with those female fixers? I mean. Did they get uh did they get prosecuted? I'm curious. Some girls were also allegedly brought to Epstein's home in New York City, New Mexico, and a private Caribbean island, according to court documents. Saturday's arrests also came just days after a federal appeals court in New York ordered the unsealing of nearly two thousand pages of records in a since the this settled Def- defamation case involving Epstein. U.S. Senator Ben Sass released a statement Saturday calling for Epstein to be held without bail pending trial. This monster received a pathetically soft sentence last time, and his victims deserve nothing less than justice, Sass from Nebraska said in, a, said in the statement. Justice doesn't depend on the size of your bank account. So from the sounds of it, they are coming back at, they are coming back at him on the grounds that the, that the, that the, that the, that the plea agreement that he took before wasn't properly, uh, you know, discussed with the victims, which is rather interesting. But regardless, this is is still an evil dude. I mean, to be able to take advantage of people like that. Ah, man. But where are these kids' parents? Like, that's all. Oh, my goodness. This is why we need to hold parents accountable and not in like and and that's I mean not in a punitive sense you know I don't mean oh yeah their parents need to go to jail and what's up with these female fixers too I mean like this was apparently a whole network that he had going on is that thing still going is it still up and around is he the only guy that's getting locked up for this I mean this is a this makes this is so sad to an extent to think about the the victims in here you know the people the 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 young girls who were um who were used in a lot of ways and yes money don't don't heal all wounds but at the same time there was an agreement that the government took that you know he wasn't so this is a very interesting case and it's part of the reason why i wanted to cover it here on the channel because this is uh this is a, in a sense um a way a, a bit of a way around double jeopardy you know because he's he was already locked up they had him register as a sex offender and he paid out the victims now we're at a point where the victims are saying no that wasn't good enough we didn't agree with that the government worked around that we didn't know so they're going back after him again and we'll see how this uh works out because yeah, I, I, it kind of feels like they may be like the defense may be able to get it on double jeopardy. I'm not 100 percent sure. I mean, I'm just I just got my associates in criminal justice, guys. So but that be, but this is but like his acts are evil trafficking young ladies trafficking anyone because young men get trafficked as well. Let's not be not sexist over here. Young men get trafficked as well. And it's really depressing to, you know, know that money can get people off. But that's also been a staple of our culture. If you got the cash, you could make you pay the settlement and have them sign an NDA. Then by all means, because most people will just take the cash. So uh, we'll see where this goes from here. But I like to know what you think, by all means, all the Internet stuff. If you liked it, like it. If you dislike it, go ahead. I ain't scared. 
a sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and you want more content, daily content, about various topics share because sharing is caring and youtube's not gonna <laughs> and speak let me know what do you think is this the face of evil because i believe this is uh an act like that the acts are evil you know and this gentleman right here he, he could be a soccer coach he could be a basketball coach trust me these things really don't matter looks really don't matter so let me know what you think in the comments and until the next one.